We're back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Johnny here coming at you today in this Christmas morning. It's cold London Christmas morning. And we got a level up here, so why don't we take a look. Always the Red Prince. There's the concern for slots. So we might want to grab more memory. Tell you what, for now we'll get one point. And we'll go Intelligence. And then you probably stop leveling up Polymorph for now. Maybe just grab Geomancer, Pyro. Let's grab more Pyro damage. There you go. Ifan, no concerns for slots. And he's... Uh, might as well equip that. There you go. Give me just pure strength. Then in here, you got two-handed is maxed. And so, keep getting warfare. Fane, do you need more slots? Daggers drawn seems pretty good. Tell you what, I'll throw you one memory point and one finesse. And then you're gonna be able to grab this, which seems good. Oh, try to put that in a correct... Hold on. There you go. Like this. Pluck. Pluck. More or less. Alright. And then for... Skills. Why don't we give you just like dual wielding? Seems good. Sibyl. No need for slots. Let's go full finesse. I actually could have gone wits, in all honesty, but too late for that now. Think. You keep going ranged. Huntsman is good, but I want to get maxed out in ranged. Okay, there we go. Let's keep moving. So we interacted with the Altar of Relic. Quick save here. Got some earthquake-like sounds. It seemed like we would be able to go down there, okay. This place will be nice when it's finished. Better to knock it all down and start again. Aha, uh -huh, there's a troll. Damn, these waypoints, man. <laughs> They're really cool. Okay. Yes. Let's move up here. A black ring captain stands before you. She looks remarkably ordinary, you think, as far as black ring go. But then you hear a voice inside your head. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. And do not doubt me, for I tell the truth. Picture yourself putting a knife to her throat. Her expression does not change. She cannot read your mind. But you can read her face, and you see she grows impatient. Tell me who you are. Or I will kill you. Um, that's none of your concern. Excuse when me. she speaks inside your head, her words have weight, as if they force themselves into your mind, whether you would let them or not. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. Adopt Almira's tone and tell her these vessels are her thralls. Then they may live, for now. That they may kill the divine pigs and kill the godwoke and kill them all, and then perhaps they die and rise again. How about no? How about I let go of my coffee cup and I actually just destroy you? You serve the god king now, so kill the divine order pigs. Okay, don't mind me, I'm just gonna like position myself strategically to kill all of you 
don't let that disturb you from whatever routine you're you're going for here. Uh, excuse me, lady. Can you stay in one place? There you go. I'm not worried, man. I'm not worried. Uh, we got plenty of options. That one was a good one. Okay, let's get in a bit closer here, because I, I want to just focus the lady over there. Can't flash sacrifice? We're muted. That's pretty annoying. Okay, well... Let's just do a barrage, maybe? You know what? Why don't we try arrow spray? That was very bad. Like, really bad. <laughs> okay. So, in the future, we want to use it like a shotgun type attack. Pretty much. Uh, another one of those cases where we can't get behind the enemy. How about... Going for this lady then. Yeah, I don't care about that damage. That's fine. All I care about is the backstabs. You go for that. You go for the stun. Taking a little bit of damage, these guys are slightly stronger than I would have anticipated, but... Should actually be fine, though. Ah, damn it. Shackles of Pain. That's one of the most annoying spells. Okay, wow. That's pretty interesting. Tell you what, we're gonna fortify fame. Haste ourselves. And if we could throw like a contamination. Okay, that's actually not gonna hit though. Alright. So. Yes, let's do a magic shell. Prepare yourself. And go invisible. Nice dodge. Yeah, these guys are pretty annoying, but I think we're gonna be able to take care of him. Let's try to eliminate the Quartermaster quite quickly here. Should be a kill. There you go. Okay, so you probably want to go for these guys next. Okay. Fane is pretty low HP, which is a problem. Anyone with low magic armor? Nope. Okay, well, gonna have to let it stand. I do like the idea of focusing down the same target here. Bone cage. Sibyl has <laughs> the longest list of 
uh, status effects. Okay, uh, tell you what, give me a little move. Okay, go like this. And actually, give me an additional move. There are two things I want to do. First, I want to heal Fane a little bit. While at the same time dealing damage to that lady. And then the second thing is going to be giving some physical armor to both ourselves and Sabeel there. And I think we should, we should not be shy to use our source here. Because it's a little bit of a tough battle. Man, coffee's so good. That's nothing, man. That's no damage at all. Totally handle that. You do want to focus the Fear Maiden, in this case. Holy shit. Okay. E yeah, just hope for the crit. I oh my god. Missing a 95% shot is just aggravating. More than anything is just aggravating. Fane is doing fine. He's lacking magic armor. But I think he's gonna be alright. Should be a kill. Very nice. And with the extra AP, I think you gotta go for the Alchemist here, if you can. Though actually, not really gonna happen, I guess. A 1 AP move gets you close, but you don't have any spells you can use. Okay, just stay there. The curse is annoying, but doesn't do that much. All right, uh, Alchemist. I think that's who we want to go for. So let's just do a Blitz in order to... Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Not what I meant to do. Okay, that's fine. We can still land the stun like this. That's nice. We are starting to take actual HP damage, so I think it's positive to... First off... Alright, Sabeel is decaying, but that's fine. Just do a healing ritual on our dude here, Ifan. And, you know what? Why don't we summon an artillery plant? Can lob acidic spores and emit cursed poison clowns. I don't know, do we need it? Probably not, actually. Is the thing. So... The shackles will wear off pretty soon. I'm just gonna buy myself some time here. I'm gonna send you over there, if that's okay. And we'll give our dudes a little bit of extra healing there you go I don't think we need the the uh, the summons in this fight I don't think they help us a whole lot all right go to town on the alchemist this guy is gonna catch up to you at some point, but... You can do something like a pin down. Crippled. And then... Oh, because we're muted, we cannot cast... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, just run away. The shackles last for so long, man. Really annoying, okay. 
You know the you know the drill here. Get into position and absolutely go to town. Ah, that was a mistake. Arr, running out of EP now. Okay, well, fucked up. Chilled is not a problem. Can deal with that. Um. The question really is whether or not you want to go for the alchemist, and I think you do, in all honesty. Maybe the crippling blow could kill if it gets... Uh, nah, I tell you what, let's just go for the all-in. Hope for a crit. Not enough. Whoa, that was really high damage, actually. It's pretty bad. So, we'll throw a little heal on Fane here and do damage to everybody in the process. I almost... okay. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do here. I think this might be pretty good. And then... Could go for this. Give a little bit of magic armor to Sebil, but it doesn't seem that valuable though. Alright, just go back a bit. Yeah. Knocked down. <laughs> Look at all the <laughs> statuses. The damage on Ifan is getting a little bit out of control. Nice dodge. Real nice. Okay, so you finish this dude. He's gone. And then you look to... To focus the other people. We're muted fucking... Oh my god. Okay. You probably want to go for these dudes, they look pretty weak. So, get in for the backstab. You also... You should heal up a little bit, don't you? Thought you were on poison and therefore healing up a little bit. Oh well. I think you go for the crippling blow. And we might actually die here this gives us an additional attack yeah the heals are not coming through quickly enough because everybody's muted and that's actually a big problem okay well we're committed at this point so Almost got the kill. So Sabil is down. Did not get a chance to heal her in time. So we have the wordless, the ring weaver. Okay. Okay then. We're gonna do this. A dragon's blaze. Look at all that damage, man. And then if we could... This is not gonna land, okay. So you gotta fortify... Maybe. Or probably the magic armor is more significant on someone like... Ifan. Or Fane is lower HP, so there you go. Losing Sabeel is annoying, but... At this point, I'm not too worried about 
having to use resurrection scrolls. That is a lot of turns. Again, the shackles are extremely annoying, but this guy is dead. Now we can jump this guy. Alright, give me one AP to get behind him. Okay, that works. Actually, a battering stun, maybe? Battering ram, rather. Ifan also goes for him, I think. So, the Red Prince should have a kill here. If you just move backwards a little bit and throw like a fireball on these fools, that's a double kill right there. And now, I still have no heals. We only have one AP, huh? Mint metal not gonna work. Okay. In all honesty, I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna save my AP. I don't see anything I could have done. Dude, he got wrecked. Yeah. Global cooling. Nice. Uh, you know what? Get in for the backstab. Finish him off. Whew, nice. Okay. So, heal up. I'm gonna bring Sibyl back and loot these guys. Dude, Black Mirror. You can't see your own reflection, but you can certainly see something else. Okay. And the ring to boot. Loots everything. Nice helm, a nice amount of gold right there. A dagger. Nothing on this fool. See if we got any good gear to speak of here. Fifty-four, fifty-seven with life steal. Not quite good enough to substitute what we have. Ooh, this seems real good. Yeah. Let's equip that straight away. And I don't think we got anything else of int- Oh! We had a ring. Check out the ring. Warfare, Ara Surge. Could replace our tight ring. There you go. A little bit better defense. Is there anything up here? Like a little stool where you can sit and be above everybody else. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's make sure... Ooh, what is this? Battering ram. How this thing even moves, you do not know. Well, you just push it, right? Don't need any of that. These weapons are pretty cool, man. Oh, shit. Doesn't look like it did anything, though. Oh, hello. I 
I don't know what the deal is with these totems. Magisters. Not what they signed up for, I bet. We just have to turn them off. This is the relic uh, symbol, I think. Lava fields. Pretty cool. Oh! Can we climb? Is that is that what it is? Let's send Sebiel on a recognizance mission here. And drop me a quick save because I might screw up, do something stupid. Nah, it doesn't look like there's anything to be done there. Okay. Just come back, Sibyl. We're gonna go to the other side here. Here we go. Temple of Duna. Uh, Duna was the god of the dwarves, if I'm correct. Okay. A voice that is not your own rises within your skull. You are no child of Duna. Leave now or face his wrath. Ah, oh, no, we need like someone from the race for it to work. Okay. Well, we'll definitely talk to you, to these people, see if there's anything we can do. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, statues coming to life. I mean, I can just jump over you is the thing. No, what? Why? Okay, Sibyl, why the? Why would you go back like that? God damn it! You're killing me, woman. And stay there, please. Jesus. There you go. Was that so difficult? Broken sarcophagus. <laughs> Jesus, can you stop? Heal up. Go in with Ifan only quickly and interact with this. Grab everything and run away. More dudes, huh? Uh, the game is crashing. Okay, we're back. Well, we can always do. Do we have a pyramid on the red prince? We do not, so. Can you, can you grab Fane's pyramid? Send it over. Ah. Inventory sucks, man, in this game. All right, give me chameleon cloak. And start walking. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Everybody else, come here. Heal up. 
<laughs> well, we're making our way here. But we probably won't be able to interact with the uh, with the altar there. Because we, we don't have anybody of the appropriate race. Carved onto the face of the altar is a dedication in honor of Duna, patron of the dwarves. Long yeah, may got, their mountain walls right. stand as a testament to him. I knew it was the dwarves. Hard stone melts into cool water at your touch. Before you stretches a lake, or rather, a mire. The waters are fetid and rotten, the air filled with choking miasma. Through the dense fog, you hear a voice. Please, cleanse this place. Let me breathe. Cast blasts on the lake. The miasma clears as the power of your blessing skips across the surface. You look down to see your face gazing back at you, reflected in now crystalline water. High above your reflection, the full moon stands vigil. You step back from the altar, the vision fading before you. As you leave, you notice a lunar rune has appeared, carved into the rock. With great armored fists, the Knight of Duna pounds his own helmet rhythmically. The helmet has buckled inwards in places. Rivulets of blood trickle from beneath the visor. <laughs> Come, hear my joke. What is it that I guard? Admit that you're not sure, but he certainly isn't guarding his own well-being. Well-being? Ha! You'd be the same if you saw what he showed me. He leans forward. Glimpsed beneath the crumpled helmet is a mangled face and crazed, unblinking eyes. It's all a joke. There's nothing to guard, only lies. You'll see for yourself once you're dead. Persuasion time, memory. Tell him to get a grip of himself. He's supposed to be a knight of Duna. Let's go. The knight of Duna's features slacken. He looks almost calm. But the moment passes, and his maniacal scowl creeps back. No more talking, hear me? There's only one way this will end. Intelligence persuasion? Easy. The knight bows his head and exhales. When he looks up once again, there's something different in his eyes. A passing flicker of lucidity. Godwoken, I see you now. Pray to the altars. Don't let the void consume the world. The madness will return. I won't let myself become a danger to you. Farewell. So that just happened. <laughs> wow, okay. Well. I hope you don't mind. You probably don't need whatever you're carrying anymore. Look at this. <laughs> so we're gonna leave the episode here. Let me know if you enjoyed it down below. Leave a like, subscribe for more videos every day. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.